Hey guys, Steve from Squash Empire, and uh, today I'm going to talk about the squash grip, so how to hold your squash racket. I'm going to talk about some tips and tricks that you might not have heard of before. Uh, I definitely haven't heard of them being mentioned uh, really anywhere. Um, and also I'm going to talk about my favorite replacement grip that I use for my rackets. All right, let's get right into it. All right, guys, so first things first, we've got our squash racket here. So how do we actually pick it up? How do we hold it? And at what angle? All right. So what you want to do is form a V with your hand on the side of the racket like that. And then you want to rotate it a little bit to the left. All right. So I'm right handed. So basically you want it so that when you hold the racket in front of you on your forehand, the racket face is slightly open so that when you come through the ball, you get a little bit of height on it, doesn't hit the tin. Same thing on the back end. You want the racket face a little bit open when you're holding it. You can see the, the V of my hand is a little bit to the left of the racket and it should feel nice and snug in your hand. All right guys, so the next thing I wanna talk about is something I really don't hear talked about very often, which is the stability of your grip, all right? So the stability really comes from these four fingers down here. So you really wanna have a nice, firm grip on your racket and especially your, your thumb, you want it to be close to your middle finger right here, okay? And your index finger is more used for control up here. So it's more for, you know, controlling your racket during more delicate shots like volley drops or drop shots. But really down here, these four fingers, as long as they're nice and firm together, really forms a nice foundation for your grip, right? Because the last thing you want is, you know, when your hand is all sweaty, you don't want your racket slipping out of your hand. Uh, or, or even moving around just a little bit. It's really gonna affect the angle of your racket head and you don't want that happening during rallies. And you'll notice that when you, when you keep you know, this really firm down here, as you push on the racket with these four fingers, you can feel your forearm and your wrist muscles tensing up and getting, you know, th that's making sure that they're nice and ready to, to hit your next shot. Because really, I mean, most of your, your power in squash comes from your forearm and your wrist, okay? Now, you, you'll notice that there are some pros who, who have their, especially their thumb, further up the racket here. And you might even have some players that you play with that, that do that. Um, you know, that's really, uh, I, I really wouldn't recommend it. You really do lose some stability in your racket. You know, putting, putting your, your thumb uh, more close to your middle finger really forms that nice solid foundation, okay? And you'll notice that most of the pros actually do hold the racket like this. So the next thing I wanna talk about is uh, where you should actually hold your racket uh, along the handle. So you'll see that some players hold their racket higher up, some people hold their racket lower down. So there's advantages and disadvantages to each. If you hold your racket higher, it really lets you uh, have better control of the racket, you know, because there's, you're pretty much dealing with less length of the racket, so it makes it feel easier to control. If you hold your racket further down, you actually get more, more power because you're, you're able to uh, you know, swing more length of the racket and it gives you more reach. So personally, I like holding the racket uh, lower down. It, it does take some getting used to, especially if you don't have the, uh, the arm strength yet, the forearm strength and the wrist strength. It does put more strain on your muscles, but I, I really do think that this is the way to go. You know, the, the benefit that I get from having uh, more reach and being able to get more power out of my shots, I think really outweighs the extra control that you get from holding the racket higher up. That being said, if you're really, really stuck, uh, uh, especially in the back corners, there are times where you can, you know, uh, as you see a shot coming, you know that you're gonna get stuck in the back. You do wanna go a little bit higher up on your grip so that you can really dig the ball out, right? Because as you go higher up, it lets you do easier flicks with your racket. So sometimes if I'm really stuck in the back of the court, I will temporarily go higher up on my racket. And you do see some of the pros doing this uh, actually, I, I would say the majority of the pros do that. When they're really stuck in the back of the court, they'll move their grip up. But you will see most of them hold the racket towards the bottom. You know, not obviously not all the way down here, but, you know, so the bottom of your hand is, you know, approaching the bottom of the racket there. So finally, um, uh, I just want to talk about what grip uh, I use on my racket. So I use the uh, Caracal uh, PU Super Grip. So I actually find that your racket is, is much easier to handle when there's not, you know, uh, little like ribs in it. So there are uh, grips you can get that have, uh, you know, portions that, uh, that rise up 
you know, there, there's like little ridges on the grip. And I actually, I don't like that because I find it kind of limits where I'm able to put my fingers. You know, usually you'll, you'll want to, uh, you know, uh, rest your fingers where those ridges are. Um, and I don't know, I just find it feels really awkward. So I, I like the regular Caracal PU Super Grip. Uh, you know, this one's getting a little bit worn out. I would recommend really changing your grip uh, probably every month if you play uh, like me about three times a week. Um, and really, you know, you know they, they do cost a few bucks, but they, you know, it's really, really important to have a good grip on your racket. You don't want to let it get completely worn out or else, um, you know, it's really going to, um, it's really going to affect your play with your hand, you know, slipping all over the place. So that's um, my overview on, um, on the squash grip and how to hold a squash racket. Hopefully it helped.